Hello, I'm John Joe. Welcome to Lime War. Today we have another tiny island battle. Barracuda is starting on this tiny island, and Arcade Big is going to be starting on an island just below him. As we can see, Barracuda is starting off with a town, another town, and he's going to end up with four um, navy yards here. He's got two docks. He's got all the eco setups. Pretty much fully set up island. However, Arcade Big is taking full advantage of his situation here. So Barracuda handicapped himself by starting on a tiny island. RK Big started close enough for a rocket to absolutely decimate him right at the beginning. So Barracuda not only had a really bad start, he's about to experience something even worse because he can't see beyond the fog of war. He has no idea what is about to come his way. And currently he's working on his navy. He's getting some good units go and we're in times four at the minute because this is quite a long battle and i'm not sure how long i've got to record to be quite honest rk big's going for some towns over here he's got a sub pen there energy set up he is not worried at all about the enemy the rocket is being fired right now it's on its way and it decimates pretty much everything over here but the, most of it's only damaged he did get two struct uh, three structures the energy well the industry and the town and docks there support However, it's um, going to cost him a lot of money. Over here, you'll see it'll come up at the bottom. There you go. Repairs and costs. 250 some times. 140. But basically, it's put him in the negatives, and he's got no energy. Barracuda really needs to expand the map. He has gone over this side. He's got another town being set up, and his units are expanding that way. RK is coming, coming up down here. He's getting some transport boats potentially he does need to start making full advantage of expanding the map while barracuda is going to be struggling but barracuda is trying to get some units down to this big island down here as well to try and secure as much area across the map as possible because he knows that this location is fairly compromised including his navy which he's sending another rocket over right now he's got his submarines moving over so there's no chance for barracuda to really recover from this over here he's building another energy well which isn't a bad idea he does need some more energy but he probably needs a bit more of a safer location but he can't get there without that current energy well so rk big is also moving over to this island here barracuda's already on the way and rk's missed this i don't think he wants to capture this territory with a transport boat there we go did get moved the submarines are clearing up a lot of the areas over here now. Any units getting caught out. But it's clearing off all of these navy yards. Which actually may help Barracuda with his economy. As he needs to set up on a new island. He does have some navy yards over here. Which are now much more safer. Another thing to point out is that with this rocket. It's costing a lot of money for RK as well. So although he's doing a very good job. And it's definitely well worth his money here just leaving it there when it's not doing anything and it's just got a rocket it's going to be costing a lot of upkeep over on this island barracuda has got a unit over here i'm going to turn it down a bit now to times two he's got one single unit rushing around and he's just been caught out he's trying to rush to the edge to try and keep some safety there but rk is pretty secure on that island right now now it's RK's navy that's taken out the rest of this island, but it's pretty much gone. Barracuda has nothing left on his original start location already. And considering we're only at 15 minutes into the game, that's probably the biggest disadvantage anyone has started on this game that I've ever seen. But Barracuda's still collecting territories in the ocean. That is going to help with his economy. He doesn't have a bad economy anymore. It's at 500. Let's look at our case. So 500 compared to 850. 550, so about 300 difference. But RK is expanding. And Barracuda is still expanding a little bit. He's going to run out of room soon. Which so is RK, to be fair. But if RK takes over this island, he's going to have two trade routes. Which are almost already set up. Which should probably be my next move if I was RK. Looks like we've got the navies about to meet up again. RK is going to realise Barracuda has already spread across the map. And he's 
swarming his units into one location and RK ran out of energy. This is Barracuda's time to push a bit. Take on some units that stray out specifically. He's going to miss his chance with this one, I think. They did move in, but it does get saved just at the last minute. Over here, Barracuda's lost his chance with the units there, but he is going to send some more units over. And I think they're going to get caught out pretty much straight away just because RK's left some units in the place there. <coughs> over here, submarines are going against the destroyers, and the destroyers will probably take out some of these submarines pretty easily. But the cruiser is going to do a lot of damage there, and as this line keeps pushing forward, RK still has the advantage in the ocean, so Barracuda's still struggling here to catch up. But he does have an air force he can bring in. He's probably not going to do that just yet because he doesn't want to reveal that he has an air force. But RK spotted the town. He's going straight for that right now. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything else going on. We've got some Navy units still spreading out across the map. For both teams. The air force has been lifted off. They are going to try and defend this town. But I think Barracuda is going to lose it anyway. It does go down. And he's relocating his Navy. He's trying to surround these units here. But now it's... Destroyers backed up with cruisers. That is a bit more of a powerful force. And having the support from the air it just wasn't quite enough. Barracuda has been forced to retreat from that engagement, mostly because of the submarines, I think. Taking out the destroyers early. Leaving the cruisers left to fight against this. And there's only one cruiser left now. So I think RK has won the naval engagement over here as well. On this section, we do have three Navy units just capturing some territories as they go around. They're going to encounter this little area here eventually. But the Navy Yards do go down. And the helicopters are just going to harass this location because the cruisers do have anti-air, but they're just not that good at it. It looks like all anti-air ships have been uh, destroyed in this location. So despite Barracuda losing most of the engagements, he is getting some good trades out from sniping these unprotected units or should I say relatively unprotected Barracuda set up more navy units to be produced on this side of the island now he's definitely making RK work for this he's not giving in the white flag at all he is doing his best to hold him off and a cruiser is just down here harassing these infantry units but the artillery will take that out if it's not managed it could kite around and try and take out some, but I think he's uh, he's just going to go down. There he does. And there's still no missile ships being moved into this location, I don't think. There's one here. He will eventually get there. Might be a little too late as Barracuda's air force is growing. Just going to have a look over here. He may be able to take out this energy well if he spots it. But I think Barracuda's a bit distracted elsewhere at the moment. Got a destroyer moving straight in towards these submarines. We do have anti-air ships, but there's just not enough of them compared to the amount of air units Barracuda has. So they're going to go down pretty quickly. Which will again leave more Navy units exposed. We need to group up those anti-air ships a bit more before moving them in. And definitely retreat this navy. We've got a larger force over here with just one ship exposed and the submarines hiding in the water. So Barracuda can't see the submarines unless it's got units over them or near them in large enough numbers. And over here it looks like RK's got a plan to transport these units across into this location which as long as he can secure the ocean over here it wouldn't be Pretty good for RK. I take out these airfields pretty quickly. And Barracuda's running off mostly power plants over here. Which is really ineffective, but when you've got to do it, it does help. Barracuda doesn't have the best of positions here, but he's got commandos here. So I'm assuming he might be working on a transport jet soon. So that he can transport those commandos around. He does also have this island over here. It's not much, but it is going to help with the territory gains. And as you can see, RK a little late, but he's got his buildings being built here. And as soon as he gets those docks sorted, he's going to have a lot of um, eco there with trade routes. 
but I just noticed the rocket going towards those navy units, and that took me by surprise a little. At this point, I'd probably destroy this uh, this site just because of its upkeep, and it's not really that effective. The biggest army is Arcades at the moment, and I'm pretty sure that rocket can only reach about this location. It's not going to be able to reach all the way over into this area. So the money could be spent elsewhere. And it looks like we've got some movement. RK probably going to be invading this island first. And he's going in with one boat at the moment. But he is producing some more boats. And they will start transporting a lot faster. We do have an interceptor here. So that's um, probably for scouting. That will spot the submarines a bit better. But they don't really shoot the ground that well. Mostly just for anti-air. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything else. So over here it looks like Barracuda's lost his navy from that rocket. And at the moment it's looking like it's Arke's game. Look how dominant he is on the map. He's got most of this area. Most of the important lands really. Barracuda has defended his one island pretty successfully for a while. He's got his strikers coming in, harassing the navy, getting some good hits in, and he's not losing many units. But he's definitely killing some of Arke's, and that is costing Arke a fair amount of money as he's invested some in that navy, and it's given Barracuda a bit of freedom to capture some of these ocean territories. But he is struggling with energy. As soon as he lifts his jets, they do take up a lot and luckily, he does seem to be timing it pretty well. And over here, we've got the drop-off. Here, we got some artillery moving in. But there's just too many commandos. And they're not really getting them off when they've only got two boats. He needs to build a few more boats and start sending them over in a bit larger of numbers. There is one territory over here that RK hasn't noticed. Which isn't much, but with really long game, a single territory does rack up a lot of money. Arke's got to struggle with this one because these jets have realised they reached this island over here. Hmm. There's one anti-air over there and there's some more on this side here which is going to put pressure, so he does recall. Actually, he doesn't do that on purpose as he ran out of energy. So we're having some larger energy issues from Barracuda. Let's have a look at his eco. So he's on 870. RK is nearly doubling that. <coughs> wow. Maybe 60% more. So he's got 1,350. And that could be increased a lot if he puts some docks down. And RK has enough money to do it. So he could just put those docks down. And even if he wanted to, he could set up a city straight after. He does need a dock on this one as well, but I think that's something RK needs to do pretty quickly. He's got a dock over here, so this trade route would be really beneficial. He'd have three trade routes set up straight away. And because he owns this island here, he could set up a fourth. But unfortunately for Paracuda, he is losing this island in the center, this small island. It is small, but it is beneficial to take, especially if there's commandos on it. So Arke's now eliminated the threat of that tiny island and secured himself a bit of a strategic position to jump units across this small gap here if he can. But there is a cruiser moving in, but that cruiser is going to be no match for the amount of artillery on the land there. And at the moment, there isn't too much going on apart from on that little island. We do have the navy moving in to the south over here, straight towards these... Navy units and the town, which is going to be probably annoy RK quite a bit. Now he's still producing transport boats over here, but he doesn't really have anything to transport. He probably should just get rid of the Navy or start producing cruisers or destroyers or something. Or missile ships. He definitely needs a lot of missile ships. But it's going to struggle now. He's got loads of capital saved up. He could set up a lot more Navy. He does need more Navy. And he's got a lot of energy, so he doesn't need to worry too much about his energy production. 
here we go, he loses one navy yard, the next navy yard's going down, and then soon after will be that town right there. Got another cruiser over here moving in, trying to give a bit more range, but he is still going to end up going down to these. Eventually, he might be able to take out these two that are firing on, and the others are actually moving away. Over here we have quite a, a large navy from RK, and it's not really affecting his energy that much. Let's have a look at how it looks on the map now. He's slowly but surely completely taken over the map. Barracuda still has a strong air force though and he's still trying to build up his navy. And he does have a good navy over here. He can't take on the main force over here right now but he can still harass the enemy and that's exactly what he's doing. Not only is he taking out some eco, he's also going for the energy well over here. And there's another one there which you don't think you can actually reach. You might be able to on this side. But there's another town there. It looks like Barracuda's found a bit of a sweet spot, taking out as much as he can while RK scouts the coasts, trying to find anything of Barracuda's to try and take on. And now he has his own air force being built up on that little island, which is a bit risky, especially with the Navy being, you know, patrolling the coastline here. If they could see that, they probably could shoot them down. I think because they're in the mountains and the forest, they're stealthed, and these units haven't seen them yet. Just keep an eye out around the map. Still have a lot of commandos, but no transport jet just yet. I think he's just using the commandos to defend the island. The jets are off once again. They're going to go for this middle island. They're going to find one anti-air ship, but they're probably going to take that out pretty easily. The interceptors get there first, so they're not doing much damage, but they're doing a good scout for Barracuda. Strikers take out that ship, and now they're free to harass this island, which is probably going to do worse than the nuke did at the beginning of the game, to be fair. take out a town, an industry, whatever structure was there I didn't quite see. <laughs> Something blew up there. Looks like a jet. And the best part is they don't need to recharge for the nuke. But the navy has come round to this side. They didn't want to go through this tiny gap here because Barracuda had a nice little choke point there he could hold off. But if he'd stayed there he's got this artillery to support now. He could have just went through that side. That's kind of push in through this larger opening and I think that's what his main objective was. Took out the town on his way and now he's got free roam over this section here supported by the air units as well. So RK is going to be pushing quite a bit harder. Those strikers are harassing that island pretty well. There's almost nothing left. Barracuda taking the winds where he can. RK is pushing in with full force on this side. Using everything he can. He's used the jets as soon as he could. He's got the helicopters being built up. And if he does control this section, he could transport this fairly sizable force straight onto this island here really quickly. But again, Barracuda finding somewhere to win and take out some of RK's infrastructure. Let's have a quick look at the map over here. He still does own a territory down here as well. But once again, RK has cleared up the ocean and is making it even harder for Barracuda to secure the ocean in the long term. Jets have been called out and they are going to be doing a bit of a fight in this section here. Maybe his air units could take it out, but unfortunately they're not going to be able to have anywhere to land. Two of those airfields go down. The jets soon follow when they run out of ammo. And that leaves RK's navy pretty much fully standing there. 
There is a bit of an attack going on over here. The energy wells were taken out, and RK has run out of energy. He is struggling now because of these harassments. We'll have a look at the economy. He's actually lost 300 um, capital income per minute. He used to be a lot higher. Now, where's Barracuda out on that? 700. He's only lost 100 for these attacks per minute. But Barracuda is in a pretty bad location right now. He's lost his air force, lost his navy. He's getting some submarines out still, but... And so over here, he's got four subpens up. So he's doing all right with submarines right now. But I can imagine... Actually, he's got good energy. I was about to say he's probably struggling with energy. But he's got more power plants set up, which is helping him stay afloat. <coughs> it looks like he's got a plan. There's a blue line coming in from this side here. All the way across this entire ocean. Looks to be a bit of a suicide mission, but we've got Commando ready to do that. But we doesn't seem to have any transport boats to do it with just yet. But the plan is set up, I think. There you go, the transport boat coming out over here. That's probably going to come out, that Commando out. So, from this side, we can see that the Ocean Territories were still captured by... Barracuda is still in his control. RK is slowly taking them over and bringing them back under his control. But RK is struggling with energy, as you can see, with the black smoke from his units. I mean, I'm pretty stubborn in this game, and I refuse to quit unless I know for sure that I've lost. I think this game would have tested me at this point, to be honest, if I was Barracuda. You've got to hand it to him. He definitely didn't let RK win. And it's still not over. He does still have plans. He does still have options. But can he pull it off? This one unit trying to cross the ocean. He's off now. There's a rocket coming in again, is there? Oh, I heard it. Nope. But anyway, there's a huge navy from RK. Even still, over here where the transports were happening, the submarines did catch the second transport. But this one has just passed some submarines, which I assume are Barracudas. It's really hard to tell who's who's over here. We've got the Navy coming in up this way, so he's just missed that as well. And he is going to end up passing this energy well, which means RK could see it if he was looking in the right place at the right time. But by the looks of it, that, that unit's going to make it all the way over to this side. So we'll have to see what happens from that. Just that one unit. But Barracuda is losing ground over on his main island now. He doesn't really have much means to defend either. He still has this island over here with the submarines. But there's just no stopping these forces coming over. There's a large navy here. Barracuda does not have enough to take this on. And he doesn't have enough on the ground there to try and take that on either. But if we have a look over at his side, he probably does have a lot of money. He's not spending a lot because he doesn't have all these forces holding him back. So he's just trying to catch up, and has that unit made it yet? Not quite. But it's just about to reach this one unclaimed territory that RK forgot about. Barracuda didn't forget it, and he wants it. Actually, no, he's changed his mind. He's going to go around the back. Over on this side, we've got the air units taking out anything they can before the main force arrives. And RK spending a fair amount of money right now on getting some structures set up. Let's have a look at his cash. He doesn't have a lot right now. He's probably spent quite a lot of it elsewhere. But there are going to be some more artillery moving in from transports all the way over to this point here. And those energy wells, uh, uh, energy power plants are about to go down. We've got another one left over in a town, but in this area, that's all he's got left. Even the subpens have gone on this island as well now. So it's just the two subpens over here that are going to keep Barracuda alive for a while. The submarines have spotted the energy well up here. They're going to take that out pretty quickly. But Barracuda has set up some more structures. And RK doesn't really have much to do about this right now. He's got nothing on this island really. He's got an air force. He does have a rocket still. And he's got two infantry units on guard over here. 
but the majority of his focus and forces are on this island here, which Barracuda has pretty much abandoned. He knew he was going to lose it, so he didn't invest anything to save it. Instead, he had one unit cross the entire ocean, take over this island over here, and they built a city. Not literally a city, but, you know, they built a metropolis of barracks and factories. Mostly barracks and two factories, by the looks of things. And he has a plan to take over Arke's original location, by the looks of things. And although Arke does have a nuke on that island, he has absolutely no energy to fire it, by the looks of things. We'll have a quick look at the economy. So 1,200, Barracuda's on 785. Right now, the map looks like this. There is not much left for Arke to take over, just this island and this area. Some in the ocean over here. But Barracuda is doing everything he can to stay alive in this. And just keep harassing Arke until he gets back his advantage. So far the match has been going on for an hour. I mean we're in... I can't remember if we're in times 2 or times 4. I think times 2 at the moment. Just check. Yeah, we're in times 2. Pressed up in the down. So... Barracuda is slowly taking over over here, and it looks like Arke's just noticed he's got his air unit trying to scout out the area. And he does have a pretty significant amount of units here. He's going to build up a large force pretty fast, and he's getting his power plants back. He's not forgetting anything. And he's going for commandos mostly, which means the enemy's going to struggle seeing them, apart from with this interceptor, which is exactly what Arke's doing. I don't know how well an interceptor will work. He's struggling to send it though because of the energy issues. So that interceptor really wants to go, but it's just unable to. Just keeps on going back. So nope. Keep forgetting to fill the tanks. And now he's trying to send two. That's not going to work either. But RK does control this island now, so there's enough energy well for him, uh, places to build energy wells. And he does have the ability to build them. And he needs to really stop moving his navy so we can put this rocket back to work. Over here the commandos are taking out the structures. We've got some SAM units up. That's quite a bit of SAM units for an early engagement here, but he does know the air units exist here. So it does make sense. And the commandos are literally running rings around these infantry units. So up here, it looks like he's not focused in this area anymore, but he does have a lot of units here trying to capture the rest of what's left of that island. He's missed another territory here. But otherwise, he might need to send his helicopters over. So he's got a few helicopters here. He needs to get his energy back. But once he does, he's got helicopters here he can use to go across. He's got a rocket, these air units, and another rocket here which might be able to reach this location, but not very well. Anyway, Barracuda is really working on his infrastructure. He's got some air units being constructed soon. And unfortunately, these air units are sitting ducked, as both players are on zero energy. So that rocket can literally not be fired. And RK is so desperate to do so, I think. But if he just turned off all these commands where he's trying to move his navy, he might have been able to control the energy a lot better on this island. But... At this moment, Barracuda has reclaimed, I say reclaimed, he's actually claimed RK Big's original island, finally destroying that rocket that plagued him literally an hour ago. And is slowly taking back control of this map. What's this economy looking like now? He's on a thousand. Ar no, Barracuda's on 800 and RK's on a thousand. I nearly had that the wrong way around. Well, they're both doing pretty good still. 
All RK needs to do is sort out his energy, get those transports in place, and bring back this army onto that main island. And he does have multiple armies and multiple locations he could bring across. So at this moment, I think it's a bit of a slow game. I'm going to turn it on to times four because the Navy are struggling with energy, but they're not really moving anywhere. But Barracuda is trying to transport some um, units across to this island and claim that. And there we go, we've got some units moving over. And Barracuda is defending this location once again. He's sending in quite a lot of units into this area to defend. And getting close to the coastline, he's taking out the transports before they can actually really land. And he's mostly doing that because of the black smoke. They're struggling, so they're taking extra damage there. And again, same with this cruiser. He's going to be taking more damage as he black smokes. I think last five seconds for the extra damage. I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe you can let me know in the comments if you know. But pretty much everywhere. RK is... RK did a really good job of trying to expand the map early on. I know that he has... He put Barracuda on a handicap in this one. It was agreed on and everything. So RK expanded really well and it started great. But when he started getting harassed, his energy management was a bit of a struggle for him. And over here, we got submarines taking out these transports, which will mean that he can't get his armies across the ocean. The helicopters are trying to take on the small navy over here, but the anti-air does come in and stop them. And Barracuda does have this island now. And those submarines are just picking off the units as they're on their own, taking them out before they can really do too much. And the black smoke is really helping Barracuda right now. He's got another group of units over in this section, and they're picking off any strays that come away on this group here. Even though they're at a disadvantage, they are getting a lot of kills. And some good value for their shots there. Barracuda's taking good trades all over the map. And he even manages to take a ship out there. He's setting up his towns again. He got another two here. He did originally have the two on the other side, and I'm sure he wants to get that again. He does have the territory here, so he could set up trade routes if he could defend them. But Barracuda is getting his energy well set up on this side. And if you remember, RK was doing that and Barracuda harassed him. So I wonder if RK's learned from that and is able to try and harass his enemy in the same way his enemy harassed him. There's an interceptor going in for a scout and he gets taken out before he can return. Helicopters just patrolling the ocean over here. Boat manages to get some transports in and they're going to be jumped on by these commandos and the artillery over there. So I think Barracuda has pretty well secured this main island here. I do think RK still has a good location and could still come back from this. I think Barracuda is still at a disadvantage slightly but he is building up his economy and he is finally overtaken RK. I think that's just because of the towns that RK hasn't really built up again. He could have a city and a docks over here. He has complete control over the ocean, apart from when they, you know, stray off little small units dotted around. But he could definitely protect what he's got. But he's just got his units way out of place over here, and they're trying to take out any units to come around that area. You need to come back and start defending this location here. We've got the commandos being dropped in directly on top of these airfields over here. And I think they are going to take that out. 
RK has noticed it. He is trying to defend. He's got his helicopters in the air and some other jets around. And they are landing around, but he's still struggling with energy. Which is stopping him from responding in this location. This commander is going to be able to take out all of these helicopters that are on the ground. Especially if they come in again, but I don't know where they're going to come from. He's got five jets here. They are on their way again. They are going to a different location, though. They're coming in down here, so they're going to start taking out some structures on this island here. And I think Barracuda can transport across and will secure himself another island. And I think that's the downfall of RK here. He's slowly being diminished because of his energy control. We'll have a look at him now. He's starting to build some up, but he, does, he just doesn't have enough energy. He's got an energy well there, power plant there. And he is seriously struggling here. More commandos being dropped in on the center. And Barracuda has won. And the amount of times it looked like he was going to lose there. Look at how big this gap difference is. And RK just wasn't able to keep control of the harassments that Barracuda kept doing throughout the entire game. I'm not sure what else I can look at. Energy won't, won't be quite interesting, but as you can see over here, it started off really well for RK, but he started getting harassed. He started losing it. He tried to build it back up, lost it. Energy capacity would probably still be quite generic. Can't think of anything else to look at. If there are any of these you want me to look at specifically in the future, let me know. But yeah, the treasury looked really good for RK for quite a long time. And at the end, he was still starting to build it up and he could build up his power plants and stuff, but it just wasn't happening quick enough. Anyway, let me know what you thought of that battle and thanks for watching. There are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click on one and I'll see you there.